Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio today setting up to do some headshots for Erica. Erica's a young model slash host and she needs a nice clean headshot to help her get some work. So I went with a really basic technique today so we could uh, get lots of different shots. She's gonna have a couple of different outfits to wear. And this is just a really clean, simple lighting setup that you can do. I'm using uh, my Profoto strobes here. I've got an acute, my old acute pack in the back just to give me a white background. I'm just basically blasting light into foam core boards just to give me a nice even background. You could also bounce into umbrellas if that's what you got. Then I've got a couple of foam core boards on the side here just to give me some reflectance fill in the front and also to make sure that not too much light creeps past because if too much light comes forward from the background, I'm gonna get flare in my lens, which I don't want, right? In the front, I'm doing what's called a classic clam shell lighting. I've got two lights, one from above, one from below, and I'm basically, in this case, I'm gonna set them roughly at the same exposure. Not necessarily the same power, but the same exposure. I'm gonna use my handheld light meter, and I'm gonna meter out, you know, so that they are equal in exposure. Then I'll look at how it falls on Erica's face, and I'll adjust as needed. Some people, you wanna have a little bit less light from underneath, some people you wanna have a little bit more. It really depends on their face and uh, how reflective their skin is. Now, <clears throat> this technique is really good. The other thing I do is, I like to keep my aperture a little bit closed down when I'm shooting headshots like this, especially against the plain white background. It's great to have a really fast lens. I've got the Canon 85 1.2 and you know, you right away be like, well, I could shoot really wide open. If I do that and I start interacting with my subject and she laughs, she moves, she goes around, she might end up out of focus. So what I wanna do is close down my lens. I have no reason to want the background to be out of focus. It's just a white background. So I'm shooting at about F11 today. And even at F11, with the lights this close and everything, I'm able to shoot really fast. I don't have to worry about missing any moments. Strobes keep up no problem. Okay, so we got a lot of great shots with the white background. We got tons of stuff to choose from. I decided just to do a quick change. When Erica changed her shirt to this uh, more denim style shirt, we shot a few in the white and then I thought, you know, it might be nice to give a little bit more drama to this, a little bit of darker background. So what I did was I turned off one of my background lights uh, and I took the other one and brought it in as more like a hair light. Now, because I have a white studio and it's pretty small, light was bouncing everywhere. So uh, Dave had taken the light and put it between the two foam core boards, almost to create kind of a strip softbox. because I didn't have one set up and this was just much faster just to kind of pinch the boards together and let the light shoot through that we won't get all the bounce. Our background goes gray. We had a nice, uh, hair light on her, and I also, uh, my bottom fill light here, the, the one coming from the, the bottom, I also turned down about one stop, so I get a little more shadow on the face, a little more contour, to give us a completely different look, and it only took about you know, two, three minutes to change that up. We shot a few more like this, and now we have not only two different outfits, but also two different looks. So when you're doing headshots and you wanna get like a lot of different personality and reactions, you really want to be loose with it, it's sometimes a really good idea to just use really basic lighting. This lighting, it might seem complex because we had a lot of things set up, but in the end, it's just really, really simple light. Simple light that the subject can move around in, can react. I don't have to worry about posing her exactly the right way to get the exact right light on her, and I can really go for a different, you know, expression and personality. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.